now today we will start the geography chapter manufacturing industry and as we are starting the manufacturing industry you have to write the first question what do you mean by manufacturing manufacturing it means the production of goods but when the another one question what do you mean by manufacturing industry then the answer it is of manufacturing industry it is that the production of goods in a large quantity production of goods in a large quantity after processing then form raw material to more valuable products and it is called manufacturing what it is called it is called manufacturing manufacturing production of goods in large quantities after processing from raw materials and raw materials it is we get it by the nature and so for that already we had the idea that the natural resource and man made resource but the man made resource it is possible by the manufacturing and manufacturing is possible by the use of raw material and the raw material it may be any type and this time you are using the cell phone you are using the cell phone but this cell phone how it is manufactured it is manufactured single cell phone no it manufacture large number of cell phone after processing and processing from raw material and in when we are uh, writing the question answer then we need what we need the paper and paper it is manufactured from which raw material it uh, from yes from the uh, from the wood or from the leaves from bamboo and for the food item we need the different things and one thing it is very important sugar sugar how it is possible by the use of sugar cane and i think few of have seen the process of the formation of sugar few of because those they have visited at the rural area in the village area they have the idea as like this iron and steel iron steel it is not naturally present on the earth surface or the aluminium it is not naturally present on the earth surface then how we get it the iron and steel from iron ore and aluminium from the bauxite but what we are doing and by these such things how we manufactured you have also the idea about the yarn yarn it is very important but for making the clothes and yes and this yarn it is very important industry but do you have the idea that the uh, yarn it is the separate itself an industry but after this production of yarn then what happened there the manufacturing of clothes and one important thing manufacturing industry is in which sector in economics you have already studied in which sector it is ha huh. very good it is the secondary sector and the people those they are employed they are the secondary activities but these secondary activities from 
where we get this raw material from the primary sector we get this raw material yes and the, then we produce and then the finished good is available for the uh, consumers the what happened the this process it is need the more number of workers so what is the important things related to this manufacturing industry the worker they are employed and they get the job they earn the money this time you have the idea more number of people they are migrated from the different places during lockdown why because of the shut shut down of the industry lockdown of the industry so what happened the people they have they lose their the job and the yes they work also but if it it is started again they have the job so what is the important thing the people are employed in their the different industries in the especially in the manufacturing industry so in this industry in this chapter we will study about the importance of the manufacturing and the economic strength of country is measured by which things you have to know they measured by the development or the manufacturing industry development of industry you should also know that the industry it is uh, wherever more set up in the world that country it is more developed for example japan they have the less raw material natural raw material they have less but they have set up the industry so they have the more benefit and that it is this time they are the developed country now let us start with the importance of manufacturing manufacturing how it is important than the all other type of the sectors it is the important thing that help in the modernizing agriculture how it is important the modernizing agriculture earlier in the agriculture sector the farmers they were using the old tools old tools but after and that old tools it was handmade handmade tools manual making and it was the less number but again by setup of the industry the agriculture have the variety of the tools and then it developed the agriculture and already you know that it is the backbone of our economy also so it reduces what the dependence it redu reduces the dependence on the agriculture how when it start the manufacturing of tools or the machines obviously the people they have the job where in the secondary and the tertiary sector in the secondary and the tertiary sector then yes the next important thing for the manufacturing industry what is the important thing the industrial development is a precondition for the eradication of unemployment you have the best example of the present situation when the industries was totally locked down due to the pandemic situations the people they have their lost their job have you the idea about this things have you the idea yes 
continuously you have seen this situation in the news uh, paper or in the television but if they have the job what it eradicate it eradicate the poor or poverty it eradicate the poverty from our country and the philosophy behind that the public sector industry joint sector industry it is the important things that the public sector provide the facilities to the workers also and also aimed the bringing down regional disparities by establishing industries in the tribal and the backward areas if it will be developed the tribal conditions the backward area will be also developed by the setup of industry very good cottage industry household industries it is developed yes yes very yes the the people they have the facility of the industry the another one thing the export of manufactured goods expands the trade and commerce how it is you have to know more another things just i have told you the example of what example of the japan japan they import the raw material obviously it's also need the raw material for the iron steel industry import from our country and then we export then what happen if we export it will develop the trade and the commerce and bringing in much needed foreign exchange when we will export we have the foreign exchange it will be increased and countries that transform their the raw material into a wide variety of finished good of higher value are proportional what happened by these such things that the manufacturing industries it make the more valuable things and the it's the increasing and diversifying it's the manufacturing industry as quickly as possible it means that some the phone it's at there continuously it means that the industries that the its manufacturing industry is develop another one thing now the important things you have to write down the question firstly write down the question how agriculture and industries they move hand in hand note down the question how the agriculture and industry move hand in hand now it is you have to the question that i am giving you from your book that the agriculture industries not exclusive to each other they move hand to hand how it is possible you have to understand with the example you have to understand with the example that the uh, country there the agro industry in india agro industry which type of the uh, agro industry there the primary sector example biscuit example sugar uh, the agro agro based industry in our locality mithila flour mill it is also agro based industry agro based industry it is so what it needed it needed the raw material from the agriculture sector but another one you have to know also in the agriculture which things we needed we needed the irrigation facility pumps for irrigation fertilizers insecticides pesticides plastic and pvc pipes all these machines and tools where it's needed it needed in the agriculture and this it is provided from the manufacturing 
industry so thus we can say easily that the agriculture and industries are move hand in hand it's move hand in hand this is the important thing you have to know now the next one thing related to the industry it is about the manufacturing industry not only assist assisted agriculture in increasing their production also made the production process very efficient how it is possible in this present situation the globalization and what happened by the globalization the our country our country's industries it needs more efficient and competitive for the production of goods and for the different machines also so it enough no we need more industries and our manufactured good must be at par in the quality and quantity if we want to supply the goods for the trade development we should improve the quality of the goods and which can be easily developed in the international market if it will be not proper the country cannot be purchased so now the next important one the contribution of industry to the national economy and you have to understand with these such things what is the important thing related to this contribution of industry the contribution of industry we can easily understand with the gdp gdp what it means gdp means gross domestic gross domestic production gross domestic productions and the manufacturing sectors uh, they have that the 17% of gdp out of total of 27% for the industry so it include 10% for the mining querying or electricity and gases so it means that in it is also related with the manufacturing but the direct productions it is the how many percent 17% so obviously we can say that the uh, lower in the comparison to the some east asian economies why because there the manufacturing industry is more and 25 to 35 percent but do you have the idea all these are in this present situation it is not going on properly it is not a stagnant now presently the gdp is reduces maybe it is the 2 or 3 percent but why this the pandemic conditions that due to the covid 19 and the lockdown world worldwide lockdown it is not for the nation level then so obviously the manufacturing is the important thing in the future we can more developed and the policies also of the government and the renew the efforts by the industry can be improved when it will be improved the people they can again develop their the economic condition in a book it is mentioned about the predicted that the manufacturing can achieve its large over the next decades but presently we can't say about this situation why because of the pandemic situation is it clear so now next day we will continue next day we will continue the another one but before this you have to know about the uh, industrial locations it is the important one that which place is the ideal for the industrial location wherever the need to set up the industry where 
the first is important thing is for the raw material are you seeing this uh, figure are you yes so firstly where the raw ma raw material factors for the production and then the land labor capital entrepreneur or infrastructure all it is the important thing after the raw material and then after it need to transport then after it need to transport where to the factory and then yes and then after after the factory the product should be also transport where it should be transport it should be transport to the market and then from the market what we get we get the money or the capital again this money will be involved in this raw material so the industrial locations where it is wherever the places is idle maybe it is any place and this is the important thing so industrialization and urbanization you have the next question also that how the industrialization and urbanization go hand in hand this is one another important question how the industrialization and uh, urbanization go hand in hand and what it means firstly you have to know about the example with the jamshed ji tata where firstly he set up the industry at which place yes jamshed jamshedpur that time it was known as the Sa sakchi that place was known as the sakchi you have studied in class 8 and this is uh, the place what was available the raw material and even the land la labor and jamshedji have already the capital and from there the transport was possible so what happened it more transportation facility was developed and then after the government will provide banking facilities insurance the transport and then the financial advice also so by this what happened the place will be developed as a urban center what will happen the place will be developed as a urban center so due to industry the what will develop urbanization it will possible the urbanization and due to urbanization is also industries developed another one example delhi in delhi there already it is the urban center and due to this developed urban center the more number of industries it is set up so we can easily say the industrialization and urbanization go hand in hand how we can say because of the urban center the industries can be developed and because of the industries the center will be developed as a urban center so industrialization and urbanization go hand in hand is it clear is it clear okay now the next question next question write down what do you understand by agglomeration economy what do you understand by agglomeration economy agglomeration economy it means the many industry it tend to come together and makes use advantages afforded by the urban center but you are unable to understand i am explaining with the example of delhi how you can understand in delhi the facilities of transport in delhi facilities of insurance in delhi facilities of financial advice is it clear due to this what happened simply a uh, water bottle uh, production of uh, uh, which water mineral water it's supplied have you the idea 
have you the idea it is the production of mineral water but this water what it needed it needed the water bottle and then it also needed the different type of machines it also needed the wrapper and its bottle cap so this variety of industries it set up it means the variety of industries they are interdependent and they come together they tend together and then they use their advantages so this such type of conditions increase the economic condition so it is known as the agglomeration economy it is known as the agglomeration economy and you have the example of mumbai kolkata chennai i have told you the example of delhi because this is the important thing so for i think you easily understand about the um, industries and you should also uh, do this work you have to write the question answer and send it to me also maybe on the google form or maybe on the whatsapp 